Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? If you're doing well, you can show me with a thumbs up. If you're feeling okay, you can put your thumb in the middle. And if you're not feeling very well today, you can show me with a thumbs down. But hopefully after circle time is done, you'll be feeling better. So let's get started. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you. Stretch up over your head. Let's stretch to this side, over to the other side. One more time up at the top. And now it's time to sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Circle Time. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we move on to the calendar and weather chart, we have three things that we need to do. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Number two, put on our thinking hats. Today my thinking hat has some snaps underneath my chin, so I'm going to snap, snap, snap it up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts, like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready to get started. Behind me, I have the calendar and weather chart. First, let's go over the date. Here's the month. Do you know what the month is? August, that's right. The month is August. Today is August 19th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was August 18th. Today is August 19th. And the year is 2021 or 2021. So as you can see, we have quite a lot of counting to do today. Let's give our fingers a big stretch to warm them up. And let's also take a deep breath together before we start counting, like this. One more time. We're going to breathe the air in through our noses and out from our mouth, like this. <sighs> Counting fingers ready? Let's start at the number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19. We've had 19 days so far in the month of August. Now let's hold up our seven fingers for the seven days of the week song. And if you know the words, you can sing with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If we go down to the bottom of the chart, that means that it's time to go over the days of the week together. I'm going to give you the sound that the day starts with, and if you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was w. Wednesday. So that means that today is th. Thursday. And tomorrow will be Friday, the last day of the weekday. But let's go back and sing Today is Thursday together. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. And if we travel back up to the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season, friends? Summer. That's right, it's still summertime where I live. And now let's go back down to the bottom and sing the weather song together. What's the weather, what's the weather? 
Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today where I live, I have a picture of a cloud and the sun. Because when I look outside, the sun is mostly shining, but there are a few puffy white cumulus clouds in the sky. My temperature chart is on orange because it's warm outside. Warm and mostly sunny. Later today, in the afternoon, we may be getting some thunderstorms, but for now, it's mostly sunny. What about you, friends? What do you see outside of your window? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. This uppercase letter makes two sounds. Can you make the short sound with me? Ah, ah. And what about the long sound? What does that sound like? Oh. What uppercase letter is this? Oh, that's right. This is a capital O. O says ah or O. Oh. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. I know that it's something that makes the long sound O. Oh. Here's your first clue. This is a large body of water. And this water is salty water. Hmm. What is a large body of salty water called? Let's take a look. It's called the ocean. Ocean starts with the letter O. Have you ever swam in the ocean before? This is how you write in uppercase, ah, o. Oh. One more time. And here is the number of the week. What double digit number is this? 12. When you write the number 12, you need to write two numbers. Will you show me with your fingers what number this is? One. And after the number one, you write the number two. One, two, twelve. Now let's count to the number twelve together using the large bead frame. This week we're going to count to the number twelve using the large bead frame. In order to count to twelve, we need two units. One, two, and one ten. Twelve. There's more to count today inside of the number box. Let's take a peek and see what I have inside. So I have some Thai basil right here. Thai basil is a type of an herb. It has a purple stem and thin green leaves. Mm, they smell so nice and it's also delicious to eat. Let's count how many leaves I have on each stem. So this stem has one, two, three, four leaves, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We counted 12 basil leaves all together. We've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week. So now let's go over the sign of the week. Will you show me how to say paint in sign language? Let's do that together. Paint. Today we're going to continue our discussion on process art with a focus on some famous artists from the past. Pablo Picasso was an artist who mostly used paint for his work, but would also combine other materials including sand, newspaper, and wood. Picasso was known for a style of artwork that he invented called Cubism. Vincent van Gogh was another painter whose work was best known for its color and emotions. And the last artist that I'll talk about today was named Michelangelo. He worked with a different type of material called marble and carved out beautifully detailed sculptures. Now even though these artists are no longer around today, their artwork is definitely still appreciated all over the world. 
Today's work will be inspired by Vincent van Gogh's The Starry Night Painting. For today's work, you will need a piece of tin foil, some paint, and some Q-tips. So you can begin by taking your piece of tin foil, and I like to fold it up first and kind of crumple it up just to give it a little more texture so that when I open it back up, I have this bumpy textured material that I'm going to paint on. So I am choosing the colors dark blue and light blue to use today, but you can choose whatever colors you have at home. I'm gonna just open it up. There's one, I have the other. Now, instead of using paint brushes today, we are going to be painting with Q-tips. So this is a really great way to practice fine motor skills. Let's start off with the dark blue. This is really interesting because it's bumpy, the surface. I can really get into the crevices like this, or I can spread it out over the bumps. Let's see. Try the light blue now. So here, I'm going to just spread the paint all over making different designs, like this. And if you'd like to, you can take the paint and spread it out, and then you can crumple it up again and see what happens. When you open it up, oh, look at this, yeah. It's spread all over this time. One more little dip into the dark blue. Get some corners up here. Put it all over the place. Now I chose these particular colors because I was inspired by the painting The Starry Night, but you can choose whatever colors you have at your house. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Let's sing our goodbye song before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.